Hey, it's Maxiel, and today I am doing a video on all of the products that I use during February. Um, I only have like three favorites, and the rest of them are just products that I really liked, but they're not really favorites. Um, so yeah, I ended up using a lot of shower products. Um, so I'm just going to get started with the most affordable one that I used this month. So I picked up the shower gel from Target, and this is the raw sugar um, body wash with raw coconut and mango, and this is really good. I really like it. I believe this was under $10, so it is definitely the most affordable one that I have um, to talk about today, but it has a very light um, scent to it. If you're like me and you don't like really overpowering um, scents, especially when it comes to shower gels and lotions, I think you will really like this. Um, it's plant-based, which I really, really like. I try to use a lot of products that are plant-based or vegan whenever I can. Um, and it does smell a little bit like coconut, but it's not like that cheap coconut scent. Um, it's really, really nice and I really like it. And like I said, it's really affordable. Next, I have this shower gel, which is from Soap and Glory that I picked up from Ulta. I believe this is kind of a new product. Um, I've never seen this before and I decided to pick it up. It is basically a body wash that is also moisturizing and you can use as a shaving cream. Um, so yeah, I really like it. Like I said, the scent isn't overpowering as well. Um, but it's not my favorite. I prefer the Clean On Me Shower Gel by Soap and Glory a lot more than I do this one, but it is a good one. Um, definitely check this out if you are a big Soap and Glory fan. I absolutely love Ren. I love their skincare, um, and I have never tried any of like their body products, um, and this was definitely the first one that I've ever tried. Um, I went on Feel Unique and they had a sale on this. It came with the lotion as well, um, but the scent of this, I really, really like. It's a really subtle rose scent. Um, if you haven't noticed, I like scents that are very subtle and not overpowering at all. It's very clean, um, and yeah, I just really, really like it. It doesn't lather as much as the raw sugar coconut one that I just talked about, but this one is also really nice. Would I repurchase this? Probably not, especially if it's not on sale, um, but it is a really nice shower gel um, and I really like it. And like I said, it also came with the moisturizer and this is the Moroccan Rose Moisturizer. I like this a lot more than I like the shower gel. Um, when you apply it, it's very, very light and it kind of like dissolves into your skin very quickly. It kind of, I don't want to say it has a water consistency because it doesn't. This one um, melts into your skin very quickly. It definitely leaves my skin feeling very soft. Um, I really, really like this. Like I said, would I purchase this again if it's not on sale? Probably not, but it is a really nice moisturizer and I think that these would make amazing gifts for anyone um, that really, really likes Ren or Rose scented products. Next, I'm going to talk about dry shampoo, and I've been using dry shampoo for about a year and a half now, and I like to try out different brands. I love Batiste. That's one of like my all-time favorite dry shampoo brands. But recently I've been using this dry shampoo and it is the Chloron or Chlorine, I'm not really sure how you say it, dry shampoo with oat milk and I've been using this on and off for the last couple of months um, but this month I've been using it a lot like I'm almost out of this, I definitely need a new one. Um, but I really like this. Like I said, the scent is like pretty much non-existent. It's very clean. It doesn't leave any of like that white powdery residue in my hair. And yeah, I really, really like this. Um, I do want to repurchase this, but I also want to try other dry shampoos. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations, definitely let me know because I absolutely love dry shampoo. Another product that I have recently been trying is this heat protectant from R & Co. And I've never tried any of their products before. Every time I go and get my hair cut, my hairstylist is always telling me that I need a heat protectant in my hair and I always end up skipping that step and my hair ends up suffering for it. Um, so I decided to pick this up. I read um, a couple of reviews on this and people seem to really like it. I've never used any of the R & Co products, um, but I really like this. And the scent is very subtle, it's very fresh, um, and it doesn't leave my hair feeling like sticky or like making it oily. I hate products that make my hair get super oily really quickly and this doesn't. Um, so yeah, I've been using this for a couple of weeks and I really like it and I do want to try some of their other products. I think they also have a dry shampoo. So if you've 
tried any of their products, definitely let me know in the comments down below, especially their dry shampoo. I think they have a dry shampoo. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know if you like their brand, what products you recommend, because I really like this. On my face, I've only been using one new product that I don't think I've talked about on here, and that is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. I really, really like this. I used it a couple of times when I first got it, and then I got a lot of other products, so I kind of forgot about this one. I really like this mostly because I see results right away after I rinse it off. My skin is just so soft and smooth, um, so I really, really like this. It's green, um, kind of looks like this. So basically the way that you use this is you make sure your face is wet and you rub it into your skin for 30 seconds and you, then you leave it on your skin for up to 2 minutes. Um, I leave it on for the full 2 minutes and my skin doesn't sting anymore so I really really like this and then you gently rinse it off and it leaves my skin feeling so soft and so smooth. I absolutely love this. Um, this is a product that I think I will um, purchase again. Like I said this did come in the Fat Fit Fun box so I don't think you can get this exact size. This is the 1.7 ounce one. The next product that I'm going to talk about is a product that a lot of people have had really mixed reactions to. Some people really like it, some people really hate it. And that is the Benefit Bed Gel Bang Mascara. And this one has so many mixed reviews. I've seen so many people that absolutely hate it. Some people really like it. And I saw it and I decided I would try it out for myself. Usually with overhyped products, I like to wait a couple of months before I go ahead and purchase them for myself. Um, but this one had so many mixed reviews that I just decided to go ahead and buy it. And I really like it. Um, I have it on right now. And basically, it's supposed to be like super lengthening and volumizing. And it has um, some sort of space technology. I'm not really sure on the whole technology side of this. Um, you guys can do your own research on that if you want. But I really like like this like I said I'm wearing it right now and it is very lengthening and um, if you're not careful it can get very clumpy really really fast so basically the way that I use this is I put it on like a normal mascara but I kind of wait for it to get a little bit dry before I continue to like apply it if you know what I mean um, this is only with one layer and I don't know if you guys can really see it I'm not that close to the camera right now um, but in like real life my lashes have never looked this long before um, and this is what the wand looks like it's a super dramatic mascara it gives you kind of like those baby doll eyelashes um, which is the look that I personally really really like a lot of people do not like that um, but yeah I really like this and I'm very very impressed this is I think this is the first no this is definitely not the first benefit mascara that I've tried I think the their real mascara I tried that one that one wasn't for me but this one I love the last thing that I'm going to be talking about today is a fashion item, and that is my new bag. And it is a Pop and Suki bag. This is the box that it came in. It is such cute packaging. I just had to show you guys. I absolutely love this, and I do look at packaging when I buy things. You don't want your stuff to just be thrown in a box in a random bag. And I think that this is such cute packaging. And then when you open it, it says, Hi, new best friend. Like, how cute is that? I absolutely love this packaging. But I'm going to show you the bag. So this is what the bag looks like. It's really small, it's super cute, and I really, really like it. Um, it didn't come with the strap. I bought the strap separately. You can buy different um, straps that they have online. They have ones that you can turn into a backpack. They have ones that you can wear kind of like a fanny pack. And then I got this one, um, which is more of a crossover, like a body crossover. Um, and yeah, I just really like it. I, of course, had my name printed on it because that's kind of like the Papinsuki thing. So basically the reason that I got this was I wanted an even smaller bag than my Marc Jacobs bag. Um, if you've seen me talk about that bag or you follow me on Instagram, you know that I use that bag all the time. So I got this bag because I do like small bags. They're just very, very practical, especially when I'm just going to Target, when I'm going to Sephora, Ulta, or the library. I like to have very small bags. Um, and this one is like the type of bag that I think that just won't get in the way. I absolutely love my Marc Jacobs one, um, but I have been using it a lot and I just kind of got a little bit tired of it don't get me wrong I still love it and I will continue to use it but I wanted a little something a little bit different and this is just so cute and so small and it does fit the iPhone 7 plus 
Um, so yeah, I really like it. So that is it for the products that I used during the month of February. I know I had a lot of shower products, um, but I hope you don't mind. Um, yeah, let me know what products you used during the month of February, what you're loving, what you're not liking in the comments down below. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.